This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and to do this analysis with me, I've got my very interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshonke. Yeah, what's good? What's good? What's good? How are Hello. you doing? Blast, blast, blast. I'm blonde. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. You know what they say about blonde girls, right? What do they say? Something. Let's say move on. it. Let's move on. Say it. Let's move on. If I, we are not moving on. Say okay. it. Oh, yeah, let's stay. Well, you guys know what to say about blonde girls, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. I know what he's saying. But I won't say Which blondes? Normal. Real blondes or black girls in blonde? No, real, real blondes. Blonde blondes, mm -hmm. right, that they're dumb. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I don't know that. Anyway, moving on. Banky W kicks against early child marriage in Nigeria. Demands marriage age be raised to 18. I'm certain that we can no longer hide behind religion. His tweet read, and I quote, If Saudi Arabia, the kingdom, the headquarters, that is Mecca, can raise the age of marriage to 18 because it is the right thing to do, then Nigeria has no excuse. Hashtag time up. Yeah. Mm. Time's up. I time think, is really Yeah, off. it's up. It's enough of that rubbish. We can't be allowing that. I think that generation that, um, you know, stands for that doesn't even really exist anymore in Nigeria. Um, if you look at the population, the youth are still the highest, about 120 million out of the other numbers. So that's not the Nigeria we want. And time is really up for those people to really start to get their acts together and just remove the perversion and marry someone who's an adult. Like, what, why, why is that so hard? Like, mm -hmm. I, uh, it's very simple. I think it's quite straightforward. This is what we've been fighting for all along. Like, they really need to end child marriage because um, I feel like everybody married to a child is a rapist. You have indirectly or, in fact, directly raping those I kids. Did. Yeah, so you're a rapist. So if you're married to a child, you're a rapist. If you're married to anyone below the age of 18, you're a rapist. Mm. So you should be arrested, you should be locked up, and you should be charged for rape. Mm. Okay, so basically, the Tea Time crew is lending our voice or joining our voice with the voice of Banky mm. W to say, Time is up. It's actually time for the age of consent to be revisited, and the, this child marriage thing is no longer possible. We cannot keep tolerating it and saying we are waiting for the government. Mm. The government are the people, so mm. they need to start doing their job right now. Mm. Moving on quickly from that, Jada Pinkett <coughs> Smith admits <coughs> she had a relationship with August Asina. It was very an interesting red table talk. So. An entanglement. Thank you. Correction. Wow. Entanglement. She did say relationship. I mean, okay, let's have a look. We have snippets for you. I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media, the headlines. No. We specifically never said anything. anything. Yes. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said mm -hmm. is not true. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah, she started a, there. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And... We actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for me, that was the thing. When I when um when Og first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. You and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided... I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was cur done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically... Mm -hmm. We broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission which is, uh, 
you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yes. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what August was probably trying to communicate, mm-hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated mm-hmm. amicably. Yeah. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. Wow. I felt like it was important to come to the table. <laughs> is that, that's not a thing. Like, <laughs> is that thing? No. Oh, it's a thing. It I, is like what so Tory Lanez, a thing. I like what Tory Lanez put out there. I don't what know if you guys saw Tory mm. Lanez tweet. Tory Lanez was like, I just want all my exes to know that you were never a real relationship. We're just an entanglement. Mm. And I think, okay, that's beginning mm. to work. We can do the entanglement <laughs> it's thing. It's basically a complicated mm. relationship. Yes, that's what basically. Yeah. Something that's not very straightforward. Yeah. Okay. I think for... But, but like someone said in this building, like when it comes to ladies, we always find a word for it but when it comes to a man we would make sure let's be real let's be real let's actually have this conversation honestly speaking don't think use your head let me not say what Mm. i want you to think (laughs) yes okay (laughs) honest conversation Mm. this is genuinely not the same as as the conversation that happens when men cheat Mm -hmm. why not 90 percent of the time when somebody comes out to say that the man was cheating it was private they were not separated Mm -hmm. it wasn't amicable Mm -hmm. it was even the relationship was a a secret no it's not a defense i said said use your your honest conversation is have you ever seen a situation give me one situation that's like that. that. Do you know why That's this is like this? Because we have the cameras, because we have the red table talk. Because no, she interferes, we don't. Because before, before she interferes in a lot of other people's business. What? So she's trying to put out, okay, That's my business point. is out there now. I need to address it. I no, want but the it's the same way. thing that I August said, though. I want the best though. way to address it. Yes, I was in an entanglement. Okay, for oh, me, Lord. after watching this um, thing, I mean, the first thing that was ringing in my head is what my mom would always say. And she would say, don't ever interfere in a man and a woman issue. <laughs> True. Because when they would say, Settle, they will use you to settle. So mm. when it comes to relationship, whether married or just a relationship that they're hoping to get married or they're just happy being entangled, I don't interfere. That's one. And secondly, I kind of like where they are. I love how open they are. And there's something um, um, Will said, and he said, it's, um, this is me paraphrasing now, it's interesting to know that you have someone who would still remain your family regardless of the mistakes you've made. And Mm. I agree that it took them a long time to get to where they are Mm. now and they had to go through fire and a lot of things Mm. to get to this point where it's a case of do or die. Like, Mm. remember August also said they've moved from being married couples to life partners. Mm. So it's a case of regardless of what Will does, I am here. Mm. Regardless of what um, Jada does, we are in this Does that necessarily guarantee happiness? And I think that's amazing. I think that guarantees happiness because she said something that they never keep a secret. Mm. So if you're with somebody that is that open and you know it whatever you yeah. do you know there's some truth that really you. hurts that's like amazing. you would forgive it but you may never forget it and it Who begins to affect be other things by some, yeah. something else or anything I think it's inevitable no but I'm just saying that okay other. it's okay to know the truth but it hurts so bad that I may never like every time I see you walk in a it, type it, of it, way that's why you need healing just, like she says you need healing uh, this conversation huh. for me was really awesome I think it's manipulative if you ask uh, me I also see people turning to marriage cancel on top of this their matter creating a post long tread and telling you this is how it's done the truth is you don't know what happened before that shoot and what will happen after the shoot mm. the only thing we know is that they have decided they are going to be together mm. through thick and thin whether you put think is right or you think is wrong it's not your business yeah. it is their marriage and they are happy doing what they are yeah. doing bad marriage for life yeah bad marriage so, I mean, for I life i love that so yeah you cannot <laughs> bad marriage use them for life please as lovely that's, marriage. Been, that's, that's what, what they're that's doing what i'm just saying like for me it's okay. never gonna work let's just let's just okay. claim the positivity but if you are in a relationship I feel like the way people respond, no, no shade to anyone, is that usually when the person has either been through a relationship or is like it is mm. like has been through a lot with somebody, you can tell that this type of relationship is the ideal, it's the realistic. There's no mushy because mushy, lovey all. lovey. Like it is hardcore pain for the most part. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. Mm. That's well, what that I, looks like. Social media. Oh, okay. we need to move in. 
Social media has been thrown into a frenzy. I saw a conversation between August, it was made up though, between August yeah, and Will Smith, and it was with R. Kelly's song, Same Girl. And, and let, can, can I just put into, before we go on the break, mm -hmm. that, um, what's it called? August is actually a kiss and tell, and not, a, not, not the innocent person here, because they did the exact same thing with Kiki Palmer on, on Twitter, basically saying, eh, but you wanted me, not you. And I was just thinking, okay, wow, bro. And everybody came for him. No, Kiki basically was the first saying, to start. No, she didn't mention his name. He caught his shade and went hard. No, but he caught so his shade. No but, no, but then why do we know that's not the same thing that's happening here? That it wasn't just honesty because I was really thinking it was the victim here. But if you're going no, to be kissing and be telling victim. where remember, you are, remember hurt, Jada said then they Jada were in older. that entanglement because they were at a point that Jada and Wilna were at a point where they thought they were never coming back together. Mm. So if you are entangled with someone in a in that kind of relationship and you actually thought, okay, this is now me. I and thought this that's person. what she messed up. When the person goes that's back sick, to that person, and then you start, you. yeah, that's the only. No, it was the healing process. And when we come back, we definitely Ailing, have baby. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nice, that's the singer. He's called Nice. Says he promised himself not fans having a Grammy. In an interview with Sunday Scoop, he said, and I quote, people are getting it wrong. I did not promise anyone a Grammy award. I promised myself. I promised myself a lot of things. I promised myself a music of black origin award and I got it. I promised myself to be one of the most reckoned with artists and I have achieved that. Mm. The Grammy award has been one of my targets as well. There is a Yoruba adage that says, quote, Baoku Isheotong, which literally means if there is life, anything can still happen. I'm still doing music, and who says I cannot get it? That's a Grammy tomorrow. I still have um, that belief, and I know God will do it for me. End of quote. Mm -hmm. This is a nice way to brag and also hold on mm -hmm. to faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, nice to take your sob. Um... I, I'm encouraged by that. I'm encouraged yeah. that he has that type of spirit that, you know, he has said a lot of things for himself. And you don't know what will happen when you speak things in, into mm. existence. I mm -hmm. think I've seen it in this little time that I've got on earth, that I've experienced, that people that honestly wowed me. Like, I didn't think in any way that that would manifest, and it has. Um, but do I personally think that he's going to get a Grammy? Probably not. But then I don't know what tomorrow holds. So. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I just feel like... Sometimes in life, you don't you let the work speak for itself and not the bragging. Like, yes, Baoku is Shelton. Like, as long as there's life, there's hope, anything can still happen. Yes, that's the good thing. But I'm trying to get the backstory of where this came from. Like, why is it? It was an interview. Yeah, I know it was an question. interview and it was being asked Grammy. Mm -hmm. it's like, you should have just said, yeah, it's, it's in its way. Like, no, it, well, I uh, loved his response. I don't know why. Why, 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 why did he have But I, I loved just, his I just response. Feel like, uh, what was wrong? What didn't you like about this? I just felt like he was explaining too much. But it's the truth, though. It's the truth. As long as it's I still alive. I think he's in the Twitter that says, avoid, avoid sh to Shalayo. How did this mm. say? Yes, uh, avoid to Shalayo. But I think the Shalayo was necessary. It was a good response. It was a good response. I'm pretty sure not, this is not the first time he's been asked that question. Of course. We yeah. even talk about it on this table whenever yeah. we remember. Necessary. Because That's of that exactly line he put in his song. I yes. felt it wasn't necessary. Isn't that the more reason why it is necessary? Yeah, they explained it over and over and over and you, over You've over heard this again. before? No, not the same words. Like, he keeps changing his words every time he's asked about the Grammys. So, that's. I just feel like it's a song. I put out music where I said... Uh, Grammy, I go bring on Grammy. Gongwa yes. saw when it to happen. Gongwa saw. No, I really I want it to happen yeah. for him. And, dun, I, think dun, dun. and I think it's uh. possible for a nice to get a Grammys. You get me? Like, uh, it's not impossible for a nice to get. It's looking he impossible right now. Right? Yeah, to that let's mind. hold on to no, that. He, he just needs might to go get back that, to that song. Mind state where he had that type of music. It was. Making I mean, maybe if he released a Gongwa song now. 
Ah, oh, yeah, he would have been nice. Yeah. yeah. So you okay. just need to go back into that um, your bad I feel kind like of music it, mm, thing. Um, um, well, that's what he's trying nice. to do now. I, I, I appreciate his um, his song at the time. Yeah. What he's doing now is good, but I think, he, like you said, he needs to tap into that part, that creative part of him mm. that did, gave us Gongwaso. And I think Gongwaso is an amazing. Ex, 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 is an amazing okay, the album, that album was called Gongwaso, right? Uh, What's the name of the album? I'm not pretty sure right now, but yeah. so good luck to you, and we hope you get it because I'm inspired. So moving on, relationship blogger and acclaimed. Um, relationship expert, Joro Ulumofe, and blogger who loves to be addressed as an entertainer, Tunde Ednot, have dragged each other through the mud again months after they fought over the same issue. Tunde Ednot posted a viral, a viral photo which insinuates that Joro sent him emails to himself and this did not sit well with Joro. He fired back at him, calling Tunde Ednot a failed musician, petty thief, failed Yahoo boy, an illegal homeless immigrant in the United States and other unprintable words. I mean, that kept going mm. on and on and on. But the point is, that um, picture was not even created by mm. Tunde Ednot anyway. I think I've seen that like two weeks ago, three weeks mm. ago. Um, but of course. Well. So they had not just but do you posted. genuinely think that Juru sent those emails to himself? Anybody? Think I would. So? I would be lying if I said I didn't think so. Okay. I think there are some that I'm just like, mm, who actually sent this one, sir? Show us the email. But you know things happen in this world, so I never this doubt. This happened, but I also messages. think that he 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 does sometimes. Oh, maybe you know that, that sometimes you know. need you need something to push the dom to start the domino effect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like he does that, like you create a to story a so that people can say, okay, this part is this is also something that, that Joe can talk about. Okay, okay let me say is, my own story. This, this is if this so you don't think he, past, he does This could that, have been his past. Of course, yeah, yeah, But I believe a lot of people are genuinely sharing their crazy stories. With of course, Joe right happens. now because crazy things happen. Hmm. I had a crazy experience over the weekend, but I'm not going to share. Please it. share. No. I mean, that's <laughs> no, no. But I had a crazy experience, and I'm like, okay, if this can happen to me in this lifetime, then nothing is impossible. Okay, hold on. You have to share that. No, I don't have experience, to. Experience. Let's go on a very quick break, and when we come back, we'll definitely hear from you, Phil Wash. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, Welcome back. This is Duty Time on Plus TV Africa. If you were speaking before I went on a break. Yes, I said I had a crazy experience, but not something I'm willing to share. It's quite personal to me, and I mm -hmm. want to keep it personal. Okay. But I figured that <laughs> that is something that I can share with Juro right now, and Juro would think, oh, wow, and he'll put it out there. And it's go, it would be unbelievable, yeah, unthinkable. Yeah, it would be mm. unthinkable. It would be unthinkable. If yes. Like... As in, I don't really want to share this, so don't make me. But it is something If really... you're going to try to prove Jero to be... I'm not trying to prove anybody. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking about my share. truth. It's my truth, so I don't really it's need truth. to prove it. It's what's happened to me is what I believe, so okay. I really don't need to share. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if that could have happened to me, then obviously crazy thing. And that's like the least. Joe but the, the, the point isn't whether or not the things like that that happen. It's whether or not it's fiction. That whether it's like, fiction, like, like, whether it's fiction mm -hmm. I believe it could have been his past. But I mean, right now... You don't think he, he has slip-ups? Like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe for a week he will not get anything and he will just say, like, ah, I, I need, need to, to put out something. Either ways, I don't really know much about Juru. I don't like that type. It's, it's a bit, what's the word, tacky for me. His type of... Um, like stories, stories and okay. blogging, but if I was consider to be nice Ednot, to this afternoon, what do you guys think? It would be nice, but let's bring it back to uh, this dear drama. Do you That's think Joe overreacted? Because this picture, 
I've seen it, like I said, is it meme now that I'll call it? It's been going round and round. But you know they had beef like a few months ago. So yeah. But I think Joe overreacted. They had beef a few months ago. So I think people sometimes people get irritated by Tunde. I'm one of them. Um I don't find his simple jokes simple and I don't find them funny. I've actually like mm, he's one of those people that he I actually wish jokes with things that are not to be joked yes, about, it, and he, oh, it, maybe sometimes he even hides in his joke yeah. to show how ignorant he is yes. on some certain yeah. things. Yeah, and even his perversion to me, and like there's a time where we were in the heat of of um um the what's it called the rape conversation, and he posted a naked woman saying, "Oh, you these women, if we if we did something now, you will say like he is not so, stupid. He yeah. knew exactly what was going on. So that type of person to me, I mean, at the time, I know I'm Man extremely talent. biased with this conversation, but to me, um, Juro, what's his name? Juro did not um, reach overreact. Out, uh, overreact because when I said I was like, someone needs to say this. Like someone needs to say that this guy is the. Ouch. You just, mm. I'm catching cold. Yeah. I don't like, I don't yeah. feel like him at all. I like that you that part into this conversation <laughs> because he, he shows his ignorance or tries to hide his patriarchal mindset yeah. under a joke and yeah. it doesn't, I mean, you can read between the lines and yeah. it's just funny when I, when I see well, some respectable people in society as well. Oh my goodness. And I laugh at Do you know that like every time I go to Tunde Ednott's like, post oh and I go to his comment section, I'm always on following someone because I'm very surprised how this kind of person will laugh at something like that. I think it is the Nigerian culture because of favors. I mean, Nigerian. Giveaways. Of course, because of giveaways, we tend yeah. to kiss behind a lot. And he's, and I he's heard one of them. He even does this stupid thing where he thinks that he's like trying to be. He's not taking any stance, but he's literally taking like stance, the wrongest, yeah. illest stance. Mm -hmm. See, but that's you know, one of those people that I'm not. I don't want to wish bad on someone, but I wish he didn't have the influence that he did. Has, that yeah. It's not adding any positivity to the environment. And mm -hmm. I, I, I thought that he would do well with just making people laugh, but he's going past that and it's actually teaching he's a people comedian, the wrong remember? shit. Um, okay. sorry. Well, he has responded saying that um, he can't wait for Corona to be over. So he goes. That was not the only response. So There's a lot of back and forth. Yeah, but this yeah. particular yeah. one is the one that caught my attention. That he needs to go to the UK and do a show, and it's recalled Tunde deported. And I'm like, okay, childish. Okay, I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can watch this episode on our YouTube channel and also catch all our exclusive content by subscribing to that very YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my interesting co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name remains Elsie. Godwin, please do stay safe.